My friends, I have had the great pleasure off camera to talk with my buddy Joe about this 4.0 leading technology machine from Exile. Now, I'm gonna let him go into the details of this, but I can honestly tell you, this is one of the more exciting conversations I've had, and I cannot wait to share this with you. So Joe, thank you for joining me on MTD, and let's talk about Exile, and let's go straight into that buzzword that we're all talking about these days, which is 4.0 technology, as it goes with this machine. Yeah, so thank you, uh, Tony, for uh, coming in and uh, review this Axile machine with us. The Industry 4.0 uh, technology that we have on the Axile is groundbreaking in, in, um, in the world. And uh, what that means, you know, Industry 4.0 means a lot of different things to, to different people depending on what they do. But from a machine builder standpoint, it means to be able to monitor all these wear components in the machine and be able to provide that data to the end user, to the factories, to the ownership of the companies to know at what point the machine is going to break or not break with a status, whether it's um, the wear components, the bearings, relays, pumps. Um, the machine has uh, the sensors to be able to uh, portray or give that information. And how many sensors go on to this to figure out these this all this information i know it's feeding back all the time even to the point where you told me it can kind of do the ordering for you if you wanted it to how complicated or complex or or futuristic is this piece of information that we're receiving from exile so yeah the machine has uh, a lot of sensors they're already built in with the standard configuration um you know whether it's the sensors from uh, the probe system or um, torque motors or the linear guideways on the encoders, but we also have thermal sensors, vibration sensors that are built throughout the machine, you know, in, in more than over 100 uh, sensors that are in the machine, be able to feed back into the system to gather that data through the analyzer so it can be portrayed on the screen and, and, and have real information that's usable. The question I want to ask is, for those of us out here who are just getting involved in this, where do you see the greatest benefits for the new users who want to get involved in this technology with this machine and apply it to their existing shop where maybe this is all brand new to them? Now, where it benefits is um, knowing where the unexpected down, downtime are. So, you know, I, as we operate and use the machinery, there's always going to be something that's going to wear out. So with this kind of system, it allows you to know these things ahead of these events happening. So that way, like you mentioned, the parts, the machine can order the parts themselves. What that means, it's connected, it can be connected to an ERP system where the signal from the machine informs the ERP system that you will need a bearing replacement. And then therefore the, the system will uh, generate or contact your suppliers and be able to provide uh, that delivery in time and also schedule that service technician and come in and do that intervention. So the big benefit is really eliminating the diagnostic side and also uh, reducing that delivery of replacement parts. Let's talk about the automation on this machine, what this specific machine has and some of the upgrade capabilities if somebody wants to grow beyond what exists currently on this specific machine. Yeah, so this machine here is capable of having uh, operation right at the front end, easy access. But like you said, the automation, we wanted to have this machine with the pallet system. So we have a, a, a twin pallet um, that is loading at the rear station the, where you can load your second operation or your second part while the front end is working. And also you can upgrade. So you can start with a two pallet system and then upgrade to uh, a pallet pool that we offer, or a six pallet pool, or you can even upgrade to an FMS system where you can go up to 12, 24, 36 pallet, depending on your operation, where you can combine maybe three of these machines on the same system. So that's, that's one solution when you have a palletized uh, needs for your operation, but also you have um, some of the parts that you, that, that you may manufacture that don't really suit a palletized system, but you may need to put a cobot or a robot cell at the rear. So this configuration here also allows you to do that where you can have your parts being switched by a cobot at the rear station while pallet A is being operated in the front and then save that setup time while the machine is running. 
this is this is why I'm a big fan of this machine here because you can start simple and then as your operation increases or your needs increases and you want to tap into the automation is an easy um, easy to adapt. What is the overall accuracy of your pallet chain system here? So this pallet system um, has a translating unit in between, lifts the pallets, brings it to the, the front loading station, and we can, we can locate that pallet within four micron. Uh, it uses a cone system, uh, with air and flushing system, so make sure that the surface is really clear, and uh, that's how we get the accuracy. So Joe, now that we're talking about accuracy, let's also talk about precision and speed on this machine and the significance that it brings to your customers. Yeah, so the, one of the key factors of the Axile is the speed and agility of the machine. Um, first of all, it has a 0.6 G acceleration. So to, to go from a, a, a stop motion to full speed, which is uh, full rapid of 1400 inch per minute or 36 meter minute, um, the machine is really quick. And as far as the accuracy, each machine is qualified to 20 micron coming out of the factory. So therefore, we have some customers that are able to go well below that tolerance. But as you know, in five axis application, the accuracy comes from the machine tool first, but there's also other factors like work holding, tool choices, programming, coolant. There's a lot of factors that come into play to get into those high tolerance, you know, below 10 micron. The machine itself comes with an 80 tool changer, which is, you know, from a single pallet standpoint, it's really a fair, equitable number of tools that you may require. Uh, but yeah, if, when you go into automation, you will need more tools. Like you said, redundancy of the tools. Uh, so we can upgrade to the, the tool changer up to 220 tools. But then if you go into an FMS system, you will need even more tools than that. So we can go to 242 tools matrix system up to 320 tools. So there's, there's really good flexibility in that, in that standpoint. And that's, that's a key factor for automation. Um, the coolant choices, the high speed chip conveyor, uh, be able to have the right structure also on the machine. That is a factor. This is why we use uh, a gantry style five axis machine because the stability of the unit is how you're gonna be able to achieve those high tolerances. Well, Joe, now that you've become better at my job than I am, uh, I'm going to close this out with one more question for you, and that is the software that's behind you. Now, I see a Heidenheim piece of software there, or piece of interface there. There are other options if people choose it, but we really lean toward that Heidenheim side of things. Can we talk about the ease of use, the understanding of how this works really well with Axile as a whole, and even if somebody wants to use something else, they're welcome to, mm -hmm. but why we might want to go with Heidenheim first. So yes, we, we prefer to go with the Heinhein control um, because uh, you know the partnership that we have with them is great. Uh, the support that we have from the Schomburg uh, team here in Illinois and also the technology that Heinhein has. It's, it's one of the most um, dynamic control. So when you come into a five axis application, that plays a big role. Uh, whether it's the surface finish, you know, smoothness of, of what the Heinhein can do, but also some of the background technology that we use to be able to achieve those technology where, that, we, that we can. Joe, I like the word dynamic. That was very well done. Nice word usage. For everyone watching, this is Exile. We're talking about world leaders in that 4.0 technology, combining machining with all the information we need to go about our daily day-to-day day -day lives in a successful way. I hope all of you have learned as much as I have from Joe today. Such an incredible guy, such a fun machine as well. Pallet chain systems, automation, flexibility, rigidity, technology, it all goes together in one package. So Joe, thank you so much for being a part of MTD and sharing this story. I love this technology for the audience.